I am Sylvia Gordon. And as an agent, I would say one of the most frustrating things that I ever do is have a client take all my research, all my advice, all the time I've spent with him or her and say, you know what? Thank you. But I got to think about it. And then when I call them back in three days or a week, they say, you know what? I appreciated you recommending Mutual of Omaha. I enrolled. Thanks so much. And then I'm like, okay, great. If you're a good agent, you don't have to go through that scenario many times before you learn to make it a part of your presentation to always explain that you only get paid if they enroll through you. Now I flesh it out a little bit more than that. But if you're not doing that, you're losing a lot of business. And a lot of times you don't even know you're losing it. I had a new agent. He's been in the business less than three years. And he was furious at this guy because he went through all this trouble to do the presentation for the guy and all the research. And he called him like three or four different times, spent a lot of time with this guy on the phone. And then this agent's um, family member got sick. And so the agent had to call and say, hey, I can't enroll you today. Can I call you back in a couple days? My mom is deathly ill. He called back in three days. The guy said, oh, I already called that now. I already enrolled. Well, the agent was mad because he, like I said, he'd spent several hours on the phone going through everything, answering all this guy's questions. So the agent said, well, you know, I don't get paid if you do that. You know, all the work I did for you, I don't get paid now. Well, the guy was offended. He was like, take it up with that now. Like, I don't care. Like, why, why should I care? And the agent probably shouldn't have, but the agent then explained it and said, you know, I did all the work and I basically work for you for free. So when you do that, and then the guy goes, well, you can write my part D. And he, the agent was like, no, I'm not going to write your part D. It's not worth the money. And I'm, I'm irritated at you. And I was kind of proud of him <laughs> because I would have written the part D, you know, I need the money. But he was so irritated and, and it got all emotional and I just want to prevent this from all you agents that are just entering the business or all you people that don't think this has ever happened to you because it has happened to you. That uh, it needs to be a part of your presentation. This agent is too late to explain it to him. You got to explain it to him beforehand. I, I'll explain it to every client several times because most people understand the concept of Amazon, right? If I go into a TV store because I want to look at TVs, I'm going to look at the TVs and then I'm going to check and see if I can get it cheaper on Amazon, the Amazon effect has permeated all of our com consumer behavior. So they assume if they're buying it from you, a live agent, you cost more. There's an upcharge to deal with the live agent. So it wouldn't be sweet just to get all the information from you and then call Cigna direct and they're going to save the agent. So they're going to save money. You can't blame them for wanting to save money. You cannot blame them. Okay. You're the same. I'm blaming you, the agent, that you're not doing a good job explaining this. I explain to every client, I'm an independent agent. I only get paid if you buy a product from me, but I'm already priced into the plan. So you can't save money by just calling Humana Direct. So if you call Humana Direct, it'll be the same price as if you buy any of their plans from me. So in that respect, you're not really paying extra to have a live local agent that we can have a relationship for the rest of your life. So that works with all the companies, with AARP, with Blue Cross, with every company. If you call them direct, you don't save any money. It's not like Amazon where you can cut the middleman out and save money. And I, I, I would tell you if that were true. If you want to work with me, I have to actually take the application from you and I have to submit it. So if you just call AARP directly, I won't get paid even though I've done all the research and work with you. Yes, you need to kind of go into this. I mean... I remember when my husband was trying to sell one of our neighbors and the neighbor's daughter got involved and said, dad, let's save money. Let's just call. And so the neighbor, you know, he listened to his daughter because his daughter thought she was saving money because kids know about the Amazon effect. Right. So then when my husband went back down to the neighbor and found out that they circumvented him, my husband was really upset. At that point, the neighbor was really embarrassed. The daughter was long gone. She didn't live there. She visited for the weekend. And all I was doing is I was yelling at my husband. I said, that's you. That's on you. You didn't explain the proposition to the client well enough. Now, with the daughter getting involved, yes. But if you hammered it home that you only get paid, most people want you to get paid for your work. They don't want to just take advantage of you. Some people will. But most people just genuinely don't understand. So this season, if it's not part of your presentation, just stick it in there. 
Just it's worthy of your time to make sure people understand how you get paid. And if you're a new agent or you're training new agents, as awkward as this conversation is, trust me, it's worth thousands and thousands of dollars over your career because most people don't want to cut you out if there's no savings. So thanks for watching. See you next week.